drip, 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 Isha. Drip, 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 Isha. Drip, 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 Isha. Hey. Drip, 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 Isha. Mondays, I'll be going all natural. Tuesdays, I'll be keeping it casual. Wednesdays, I'm gonna post a little hump day pic. Cause I happen to be thick, thick, actual. Thursdays, I'm at the gym getting body feeling real, real thotty. Everybody still calm. What is up, my gods and goddesses, and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe down below and follow all my social media on Instagram and Twitter will be linked down below. Now, let's get into this. So, today we're going to be doing a review, or I'm going to be doing, not you, I'm going to be doing a review on three products, doing the Milk. Hydro Pro Grip Primer that everybody's been talking about, raving about. I got my hands on it, and I'm going to be testing it out and seeing if it is Nefertiti approved, may we say, or gods and goddesses approved. And then the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. Now, I know this is not new as well. Um, I, it's been a while since I've done anything Fenty related reviewed and i decided to pick this up also as i was in sephora and i have a new palette this is a four quadrant palette from midas cosmetics um i'd have ordered their lemonade palette which i freaking love if you have a love for yellow as you can see my new background oh i forgot my new setup um but if you are a lover of yellow, that palette is the palette to get. I will put that down below as well. Um, at Midas, Instagram, and Twitter, Midas Cosmetics. But this is one of their four quadrants. Um, holiday, uh, fall season holiday collection. I got the palette in Pumpkin Spice Latte. So let's get into it as you know i'm going to be doing my eyebrows off camera and then i'll be right back all right guys welcome back my eyebrows are done now we're going to get into this look i'm going to prime my eyelids as you know i do one eye first and then i'll do the other eye i'm actually going to do it reverse this time for you guys usually i'll do one eye and then i'll come back and i'll show you how i created that eye but i think i'm going to do something different because you always have to change and do something different but i'm going to actually show you a look on one eye and then come back and already have the other eye done as well so let's get into this so i'm going to be priming my eyes with the p louise base i got number two which is a pink base this base i'm so happy that Morphe now sells this, um, but before, all you could do is get it from their website, which is in, um, they are located in the UK, but now that Morphe um, is now selling it, it's more accessible to me, but this space is amazing. I know a lot of people have used this and been talking about it. A lot of people love it. Some people don't like it, but I love this base so much. I don't think I will ever go back to concealer with using this base. So I'll do like a little pea size on my hand like that. And then put it on my eye. But after putting it on my eye, we're going to be diving into the pumpkin spice latte. Now the pumpkin spice latte, it looks like this. It comes with the you know, carton, of course, a little sheet. Let me tell y'all. And so four quadrant is oranges and a like a burgundy color and a shimmer shade. It looks so stunning. But here we go. Prime the eyes. First. So I like to go all the way up to the brow bone okay. if you whatever you hear in the background I have the TV going also um, family members coming in and out of the house 
to hear people speaking. Getting close. Oh. All right, so my eyelid is primed and we are ready to get into this palette. Before we get into the palette, I need to grab a transition shade because this does not carry a transition shade. So I have to use a transition shade. Usually I'll get it going with my white from right here, from Sugar Pill. As a transitional shade, take a blending brush, put it in, put it, and I'll go right, I'll set right under my brow oh, with the white. and set right there now we're going to go in with these colors i'm going to swatch and see which color i want to go in with first i think i'm going to go in with ice actually no i'm going to go in with first of all this is the shades this one is the burgundy which is espresso or i espresso which is so so cool of a name and then the this shade, which is deeper than this one, this one is double shot. And then the lighter or the orange is iced. And then the shimmer shade looks like this. So stunning. Oh, that can even be a highlight. So pretty. Is called steamed. So those are the four colors that I'm going to be going in with on my eyes. So let's start. And we're going to start with Espresso, which is the burgundy color. So we're going to do a little glam fall look. So I'm going to go in with my in my crease with this packet on uh, pigment, pigment, pigment. That's what I love about this. This is the Midas Pumpkin Spice Latte. I'm going to go in grease and pack it in first. Get the color saturation. But this is a gore just. Look at that pigment. Oh wow. I love it. Now we're going to go in with another one, and we're going to go in with Double Shot, which is the deeper of the orange shades. Let's see how this works against the Espresso. I'm going to blend that shade in. is orange, orange, orange. Oh. Like I said, if you hear stuff in the background that is family. Right. Blending, blend, blend, blend.
that is that. Then I'm going to go in with the lightest shade, which is Iced, right above Double Shot. So blendable. I love it. This is how it's far. Now we're going to go in a little bit of Pee Wee's face. Again. And I'm going to cut my crease. Everybody knows my little trick that I do that I got from Makeup by Jack. If you don't follow him, Follow him, he is so good. So he goes on his lid, and then the look up, up and around, and it cuts your crease for you. So you don't have to sit there and try to perfect carving it out, carves it out for you. crease and I always pat out the end so there's no harsh lines. So now we're going to go in a flat brush. Try and get a flat brush. Nice flat brush in with steamed. Now for me, I like to pack it on first. So pack it on and then I'll spray my um, brush, go in with the product, then spray the product again, and gives you that extra, extra shine. So I'm patting it on right now. So stunning. Now it's going to get even more stunning. So I'm going to spray, spray with my setting spray and my brush. I'm going to spray. And then I'll dip into steamed that color again. And then I'll spray it one more time. On top of it to give it ooh, look at it, even more of a glow oh look at that so stunning then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna go in with um, double shot I'm gonna go in with double shot which is the medium orange and I'm gonna blend in to steam and I like to blend into at an angle this way so I feel like that gives me a better more natural blend of color than going straight up and down where it's like blocky so I blend it into it a little bit and then I'm going to go in with espresso is that burgundy color 
and blend into the double shot on the end. So make it all cohesive. Look at that, so gorgeous. Ah. Then I'm gonna add, go in now. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> now I'm going to go do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back guys. As you can see, I have my other eye done. I do have contacts in, these are hazel. Contacts from Brits, Brits Glam on uh, Instagram. I will put that link down below as well. They're so soft and I love these contacts so now we're going to get into the face so i'm going to get into the priming with the milk hydro grip primer that everyone is raving about so i got the little travel size just in case first just in case it was not for me and i always recommend if you're going to do get something and try it out get a sample or get the travel size. That way you're not spending so much money on the full size. So I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Like that, ooh, like that. Tap it, now I'm gonna push it all over my face. So it's nice and cooling. Actually, which I love. Over. And it's, oh, I see. Yep. It's tacky. Definitely tacky. So your, your foundation definitely will grip to this very well. Because I heard that it is tacky so that you're foundation and everything doesn't move get my freaking hair out the way oh my gosh look see that yeah that is so cool now let's get into this foundation of the Fenty Beauty hydrating foundation now I got the shade 440 because I did tan a little bit when I was a lot during the summer. So, whew, my eyes watering. And this is what it looks like. So I went a shade deeper. Now I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Try to match myself as close as possible. When I matched, this was it. Let's see, I'm taking my, um, Sonia Kashuk brush. This is a flat foundation brush. I am in love with brushes, foundation brushes now more than beauty blenders, even though I do use beauty blenders as well. But this is amazing and it doesn't leave streaks. So putting this on my face. Oh yeah, I chose the right color. Thank you, Jesus. I'm pretty good at matching myself um, to foundations. But there are some times where I'll miss. Put a little bit more over here of it. I think this is medium to full coverage, I believe. Definitely does not say. Definitely have to go on the right line of air. Full cover, medium to full coverage. I was right. Yeah, it does say 
Medium to full coverage. So definitely buildable. It definitely is buildable. Get those ears as well. Some people forget that you you have to blend to your ear also. But looking at this foundation, I'm actually light loving it right now. It's not as hydrating like looking at it, but in camera definitely is very much hydrating. I will let you guys know my thoughts on that at the end after I set everything. So now I'm going to go in and do my um, concealer, blush, all that jazz. And I'll be back with everything complete. Also under my eyes. And yeah. So see you real soon. All right, guys. Welcome back. I have my eyes done. My base is pretty much done. My eyes done. I added some glitter from also from a Midas Cosmetics, which looks like this. So stunning. It's in the not shade, but ooh, got it everywhere. It's in I would say the shade Toasty, which I got it everywhere. It looks like this. Shine nice and shiny. On my eyelids, I did my mascara my under eyes um, blush is my favorite blush palette is the sahara volume one palette from juvia's place which looks like this so stunning i am wearing the shade um toasty no abby and also the shade uh toby on top now i'm going to be going in with lashes and lips and highlight i'll be doing my lashes off camera it's just easier or i can actually do them on camera because it i it doesn't take that long for me to do lashes but i'm going in with the style bank robber this is from lash babes company and they look like this so stunning i love this packaging if you're not following them also lash babe you can use my code. I do have a code with Lash Babes. Um, lashes, code Queen B. I will link that down below as well. They look like this. So stunning. This is Bank Robber. Let me take those out. Okay. glue on them on Not do it with my right I like to do it with my fingers some people like to put it on with tweezers for me I feel using my hands is easier
lashes are on. Close it up a little bit. There we go. Lashes are on. Now I'm going in with lips. I'm just gonna do a lip gloss. This is a lip gloss from Hello Gregory, one of my good friends on my lips. It has like a purple-ish hue to it. And I love this gloss so much. Look at that. So stunning. And I'm also going to be going in with his highlighter. So gorgeous. Now I'm going in with his highlighter. And my favorite shade, I'm gonna spray my brush. So now, in my favorite, favorite, favorite shade is Hello Bronze, which looks like this, and watch out for this glow. So affordable as well. Right now, he doesn't have his company, but maybe one day he will come back out with it. But this highlight is gorgeous. And watch this glow. Like, look at that. I just patted it on, and I haven't even brushed any of it. But look at that glow. Ugh. My favorite highlight so far. Look at that shine, ah, oh, so gorgeous. So gorgeous, on the other side as well. A little bit more, you know me, I love a highlight, a blinding highlight. And I'll go in with some more coarse, something so subtle. That's a little subtle. Look at that. Oh, stunning. And of course, on the nose, right here, on that tip. And I'll do like right here as well. I do a little bit above the brow, just a little bit above the brow, both brows. I am done there you have it guys this is the final look what do you guys think opinions comments what do you think about everything so going through the products the very first thing the hydro primer I love this the tackiness and it just the foundation just grips straight to it I love it I will highly recommend it it is goddess and God Gods and Guys Approved by Nefertiti. Now, this right here, the Fenty Foundation. Hydrate. At first, I was like, mm, it's not looking so hydrating, but actually looking at it, my skin is glowing right now. And I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but that, without even the, um, the highlight, just overall looking at it, can see that natural glow to it. I love this. Okay, so for anyone who has dry skin, I would recommend it. It is definitely Gods and Goddesses of Nefertiti approved. Now, last but not least, the Minus Latte um, Pumpkin Spice Latte, the Four Quadrant, which is like this the palette. I do have the Lemonade palette. I have one palette from them that I absolutely love, the yellow pigment is awesome this is awesome as well look at this pigment i love this so this is definitely and it's so soft soft and buttery and the color pigment is excellent i would definitely have this gods and goddesses of nefertiti approved so what are your things i mean your things <laughs> what are your thoughts about this look and also the products will you try it will you not all the things that i talked about i will definitely link below in the description 
so hopefully you guys are like and subscribed to my channel please do that um i will have my uh instagram and twitter down below as well so mwah. i will see you guys next time Friday, I'm insane, dripping in chains, don't call my name, call me Drip Beacher. Look at that drip, 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 boom, boom, and that whip, 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 call me Drip Beacher.